Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing the Macmillan Tree Lot. This is the brand new game by Zed Technician, and you guys who follow the channel will know we've played most of the Zed Technician games up to this point. They usually feature animalistic humans with quite large proportions, let's say, and very unique and different gameplay mechanics from game to game. So I don't really know what this game entails, it looks like we're selling Christmas trees potentially on a tree lot, we're going to be diving in, playing through this game and basically seeing what it has in store. So sit back, relax and let's dive into the Macmillan tree lot and see what this game is all about. Should you find yourself near the outskirts of town? The Macmillan tree lot is assuredly not far from being found. It's closed for the warmer months so don't even bother making the drive. But as the nights grow cold, this place suddenly comes alive. <laughs> nice little rhyme there. Oh, we've got a jock working here, a wolf. Lang. Hey, thanks a lot for giving me such a good deal on this tree. Once it's been chopped into firewood, my family will be as warm as can be. They all rhyme in this game. Who are we talking to? She's got normal proportions, guys. She's not massive. <laughs> She's actually a normal proportions human being and she hasn't got any animalistic characteristics either she's just kind of he's he's gone for the straight design there so this is Cynthia you're very welcome Mr. Boyd and I've still got plenty left on the lot if you ever need another one you know just for spot you always have the best firewood in town and you never get low I'll be sure to tell Jasmine and the kids you said hello so thanks again Cynthia now I better get going I need to make it home before it starts snowing. Stop rhyming, man. It's kind of annoying at this point. <laughs> Hall in hand, Lang departed into the night. It seems like this was like a Christmas game he was trying to get ready, but it slipped past the Christmas deadline, maybe? Once the wood was added, his fireplace indeed shone bright. Cynthia watched as he left, the second to last customer to leave her lot. But her last customer has yet still to be sought. Okay, so are we going to find them? She remembered that another soul had entered the lot, and yet knew he had not departed. It wasn't uncommon for most to become lost, as a large portion of the lot still remained uncharted. How big is this lot? I'll grab Miss Reliable from the shack, and then head in. And so, she steeled herself for what was to come, for her struggle was only just about to begin. Here we go guys, we're in the game. She says Miss Reliable inside. Oh, the shotgun. My trusty shotgun was here when I first bought this lot. Let me down, it certainly has not. I'm not sure what strange things the Macmillions were up to in their past, but this weapon has endless rounds and was seemingly built to last. The word space is engraved in the trigger and the letter R upon the base. I know that it will protect me as I journey deeper into this place. More of a rhyming, so we've got space to fire and R to reload. Okay, I kind of wish it had been uh, on the mouse that you could fire, but never mind. Toilet, very normal, okay. Little microwave. I'm still stunned that we haven't got like a giant behind or something in this game, you know. Our rump isn't massive. He usually likes those massive proportions. But we're just kind of regular size, which is a first for Zed technician. Not that there's anything wrong with the other proportions, of course. I'm just kind of surprised that you didn't go there this time. So here we go, guys. The Christmas tree lots. We can walk or run. That's a toggle. Okay. Oh, hello. What's this guy all about? What the heck? I shot him. No, I didn't mean to shoot him. What the heck? Guys, I blew him away. Oh, well. He's dead. I don't know what that was. It was like a toy soldier or something. Like a giant one. Wait, am I back on... Have I done a loop? Before Cynthia stood a very, very familiar place. Though identical to her home, she knew all too well the tricks employed within this space. In times past, the way forward was revealed after crossing the threshold of a door. Undoubtedly, this trick would work again, just as it has once before. Okay, so we cross the threshold of a door. Oh, and it resets. This way, we've got to follow the arrows, guys. Cynthia readied herself as she knew the real challenge lied ahead. The decoration she bought long ago had turned against her and now wanted her dead. Ah, yes, the soldier is going to come for us, guys. 
The lot's strange nature enabled it to control things made from wood. And when the lights went out, she knew getting close to the wooden soldiers would not end good. <laughs> they they kind of went with the bad English there to rhyme. It's all good. So, um, what we're going to do, guys... Oh, the lights are out. I think we need to watch out for where these soldiers appear, right? So we shoot them. Now we reload. We get two rounds per... Uh, per shot. Oh. I kind of got close to that one. Probably shouldn't have done that. It's all good. We'll just keep going. I have to keep watching. It's like Doom or something, this game. You know, first person shooter. I've got to watch out, though. There's one over there. You can see that. And this one. Okay, we've got both. We're speed running it. We good? Let's go. All right. And now we go back. Very back and forth, this game. Very simplistic. When the lights go down, does that mean anything? I feel like we haven't been told that it does. Oh. It's kind of eerie. Oh, okay. They actually walk now. So they come for us. That's okay. Let's keep reloading. And if they start walking towards us, we cap them. There's one. Oh, we can shoot them from, like, really far away, even though it's a shotgun. That's kind of cool. They don't come back to life, though, right? Oh. They don't come from behind, either, I hope. That'd be kind of scary. I'm going to take care of him nice and early. I'm going to keep going, guys, because I don't know if they revive, you know? Like, they respawn or something. There's one there. Nice big hitboxes as well. That's what I like in my first-person shooters. Um, I don't see any. How many times do we have to do this? I'm glad we get endless rounds. That's one thing for sure. I don't see any more. I think we're good. Maybe. Yes. Let's go. Right, it resets. It's an endless loop. How do we actually finish this? Aren't we meant to be looking for somebody in this place? I feel like we are, right? Take care of him nice and early. Oh. What the heck? He takes two shots. So some of them take multiple shots. Guys, we've got to make sure we're always reloading after every um, kill because, you know, some of them seem to take more than one bullet. We don't want to get caught out here. Okay, let's keep going. There's one here. Thought he could hide, did you? He took two shots as well. Man, I don't know if there's like um, extra stuff I'm meant to be doing here or if it's literally just walk forward and shoot stuff. This game does seem to be like very, very simple. Alright, took care of him nice and early. Anyone else? Want some? Oh! There's one right there hiding, guys. Yeah, definitely some of them take two shots. Because I point blank to his face then. I had to still shoot him twice. There's one here. Right, let's go. Go, 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 go. We made it. We're in the safety of the... Oh, the red moon. The crimson moon, guys. Reminds me of Bloodborne. If you guys ever played that game Bloodborne. That's what it reminds me of right now. What's that thing at the top as well? Looks like a... Is that an alien or something? Is that just a big tree? Oh, God. Alright, this is actually kind of spooky right now. The horror is coming in. I hate the ones that take two shots. We're definitely getting more of these guys now. There we go. Look at my skills. Absolute pro play right now. I just got to make sure I don't end it prematurely. Because um, that could happen if I'm not careful. There's two here. Right, he took two shots. Let's go. There's so many now. 
We're really having to be careful. Keep going, keep going. Man, I don't like this. It's actually kind of spooking me a little bit. Oh. Oh, we got one walk in there. Okay, we're good. We're protecting our lot, guys. We've got to sell these Christmas trees. Whoa! It's all good. It's all good. He came out of nowhere, though. Tried to uh, ambush us, bamboozle us. Oh, my God. I've just realized as well, guys. Like, we're going for much longer this time. Like, the road forward is much longer. Oh, my God. Holy crap, guys. What the heck? He came out of nowhere, man. He just... Where was he? Where was he hiding? You can kind of hear their footsteps sometimes. They try and jump you. It's pretty spooky. I'm edging forward. I don't want to die at this point. I feel like we've come so far, right? Come on. I know there's more of you hiding. What the heck is this thing? What is that? They're all like crouched down. What is that? Look at the face on it. It's like a giant tree with a, a human face. Do I shoot these guys? Do I shoot him? No? Do I shoot the tree? No? Okay, we just walk forward then. Look at all these guys like crouch down though. Like worshipping this tree. Right, let's speak to this dude. Cynthia says, Hey, wake up! You really need to snap out of this trance. We both have to get out of here while we still have a chance. Oh, there's the weird animal creature that we always get. It's Monty. Whoa, I don't know how I got here if I'm completely frank. My head's spinning and the last few hours are complete blank. Everything's a blur and I'm not sure what I would have done without you. But someone's been calling my name and I think this tree might be just who. What? The tree's calling your name? You're not the first person to wander in here and I doubt you'll be the last. This thing's called a Gretel tree and they thrive in places with a dark, dark past. It was here when I brought the place, and it calls people in the night. But worst of all, these trees only sprout up from the soil that was once a mass grave site. And these rhymes are really catching me off guard here. <laughs> Cynthia knew the hardest part of their escape still had yet to be done. And so she uttered only a single word, and that word was... RUN! I knew she was going to say that. Okay, sugar. Run. Why was she walking, man? I think I pressed the wrong button, guys. Do I have to, um, still shoot stuff? Yes? Absolutely do. Guys, we gotta- Oh my god, we gotta speed from this- This stuff. I can hear one. Where the heck is it? I think they're coming from behind. Oh my god! Okay, that was scary. Oh my god, guys, this is insane, man. This is literally insanity. Come on. Keep going. Oh my goodness, man. This is actually hard. I think they're chasing us behind as well, you see. Oh! Oh my god, guys, I didn't die somehow. How did I not die then? Do we have health or something? I don't know. But that was freaky as heck. Keep going, keep running. Keep running. I hate the ones that run up to you, like, really suddenly. They're, like, really freaky. Come on, Monty. Come on, Monty. Come on, Monty. You got it. Are you kidding me? Alright, we're back. We're back. We're back. We made it. Whew. There we go, Monty. We did it. What is he meant to be anyway? Like a grasshopper or something? Thank you for your help, and I really mean it truly. I probably owe you my life, and for that, I will never be able to repay you duly. I'd better get out of here before anything else goes wrong. Hopefully, we can meet again under better circumstances before too long. Alright. That's enough of those rhymes. And without another word, he made his leave. There's no doubt after that night, he had quite the tale to weave. 
Sometimes I wonder if owning this place is worth it, given that danger is always near. But I wouldn't have it any other way, and I'm always looking forward to next year. Alright, there we go, guys. I think that's probably the end, right? And we must have got the best ending, surely. Because we survived. I don't know how I survived that last run, but we did. I thought if they touched us, would be like, game over. Yeah, there we go. We got the star, the gold star. So, uh, I guess that's the Macmillan tree lock, guys. I don't know if there's like a, a different ending that we can get. I'll maybe try. See if I can fail and not get the true ending. Alright guys, I'm going to try and get killed this time. And see what happens. See if we get a different ending. So can, uh, can we actually get attacked by you? Seems like these guys... Oh my god, they actually do. Holy moly, that's actually scary. The silent night air was pierced by a sickening crack. The lot had finally taken Cynthia, and now she was never coming back. I think that's it. That's the other ending. Okay, the other ending isn't, like, um, all that good. But at least it has a different one, so that something else can happen if you die. But there we go, guys. That was the Macmillan Tree Lot. I have a feeling this is just a smaller, like, experimental game from Zed Technician. Only took about 15 minutes to get through. But it was fun. I had a good time with it. I had a, a, a lot of fun, like, especially during that last run, trying to escape everything. That was actually quite tense. And, um, yeah, nice little story. Quite surprised that the proportions were different to the usual Zed Technician games as well, as you heard me commenting. You know, usually he likes that, uh, that big back, let's say. With that said, guys, this is the Million Tree Lot. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check it out for yourself. This particular game is free to play, so you can download it for free and try it if you'd like. And with all of that said, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.